Welcome to the University of California Merced's 2020 Virtual Commencement. Hello and welcome. Please know that filming today was done utilizing green screen technology in a safe, physically distanced environment. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the University of California Merced's Virtual Commencement. Today we will be honoring graduates from the School of Engineering, School of Natural Sciences, and the School of Social Sciences, Humanities, and Arts. On behalf of the Academic Senate and the faculty, I congratulate all those who have completed their doctoral, master's, and bachelor's degree here at UC Merced. It's been an honor walking alongside you on your journey, and we hope you enjoy today's ceremony. Congratulations, graduates. Good morning. I am Greg Camfield, Executive Vice Chancellor and Provost, and I welcome all of you to the University of California Merced's virtual commencement for spring 2020. I have always admired the resilience and determination of UC Merced students, and never has that resilience been more manifest than this year when our normal operations have been upended. Resilience is a skill developed by managing stress. That you have been good at it for so long positioned you to manage the events of the last month. Resilience is built on realistic optimism, a willingness to face fear, and a larger sense of purpose that transcends the difficulties of the moment, however long that moment may be. It is also built by following role models. Frankly, your resilience is a role model for all of us. I thank you for showing us grace under pressure, a grace all of us will emulate in the coming months. Now, it is my pleasure to present to you a special performance of the national anthem by some of our very own Bobcats. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. All the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the One of the greatest joys we have in the academy is to be able to guide and celebrate the growth and discoveries of our students as they learn, graduate, and move through their lives. So many outstanding faculty members have taught, mentored, and guided you to this day and will, I hope, have pride of place in your hearts and minds throughout your lives. I would like us to recognize these brilliant teachers and researchers for their commitment to excellence and for imparting their knowledge and love of learning to the graduates we are celebrating today. It is now my great honor to introduce Nathan Brostrom, Interim Chancellor of the University of California, Merced. Hello, graduating UC Merced students, families, and friends. Congratulations, and welcome to our virtual commencement ceremony. Today is a day to focus on accomplishment and success. Today we celebrate you, our graduates, and look ahead to your incredibly bright futures. Today, you graduate from the best campus of the greatest university system in the world, 
the University of California, Merced. Families and friends, I'd like to take a moment to recognize all of you for the role you have played in making this achievement possible. Your support has been invaluable, and I encourage our graduates to reach out and thank all those who have helped them along their journeys. To our graduating students, you are all pioneers, helping us build a culture of inquiry, discovery, and learning that will last for generations. You have persevered through challenges and overcome obstacles, and you leave UC Merced more prepared than ever to succeed in your careers and in your lives, to contribute to a world that desperately needs your ideas, your problem-solving skills, your passion, and your willingness to explore, create, and innovate. Some of you came to UC Merced with doubts to overcome, with competing priorities and challenges in your lives but you did not lose faith in your abilities or the belief that you had something important to accomplish. And you did accomplish great things. PhD students stood on the shoulders of giants to further human understanding. Master's students gained the professional depth to add great value to any environment they choose. And our amazing undergraduates have seen their lives transformed and their futures opened wide by this achievement of a UC degree that is a signal achievement in California and the world. The pioneering spirit you brought and amplified on our campus and in our community will continue to serve you throughout your lives. Whatever your next step is, embrace the spirit of lifelong learning that is embedded in the fabric of UC Merced. My formal role today as chancellor, and indeed my great honor and true pleasure, is to congratulate each of you on behalf of the entire UC Merced community. And so it is with heartfelt joy for you and your loved ones, and with great hope for the future, that I say again, congratulations, and go Bobcats. And now, we would like to share a message from some very special guests. Chancellor Bostrom, the UC Merced family, thank you for this chance to salute the graduates of 2020. To the achievers and your families, congratulations. Check this one off your bucket list, graduating in the midst of a global pandemic. You've attained your degree from one of the finest universities in America, the fastest growing in the country, by the way. Want more good news? The majority of low-income students who graduate from UC schools are out earning their parents within five years. Now, you may be a scholar, but this, what you just accomplished, what comes next, can still be confusing even without a pandemic. Crazy times, scary times. But honestly, we've stepped into this ring before. Today, it's a fight against coronavirus and pandemic. In my day, the Cold War, nuclear annihilation, and AIDS hung over everything. You remember the Great Recession. We had stagflation. Look it up. Impeachment, Watergate. Iraq War, Vietnam. Somehow, we've always overcome. Now your chance is coming to make it and make it right, to make this country better. We older folks, we just need to keep our cool a little longer and quit being reckless, less lying, less hate, less polluting, more respecting and sharing, more hard work and fairness. So graduates, get ready. That's the promise of America. How do you unlock that promise? Two words, fall forward. You are achievers, but you will taste defeat you will fall, you know that, and you will learn from it. But how did you fall? Did you hit the ground with sweat and tears? Did you come so close to succeeding that you surprised the doubters? Did you rattle the rim on that buzzer beating shot? Did you push yourself so that when you fell, you fell forward? I did a lot of falling. I'm lucky to be the AG now, but I lost my very first legal case. As a kid, I never made the varsity basketball team. I really didn't understand college, quite honestly, until I was a junior. I've been cussed out by a president of the United States. I tried but failed to pass the DREAM Act when I was in Congress. I would have loved to have been Lionel Messi before the real Lionel Messi. At the same time, I did make it through four years of college, the first in my family. I won election to Congress 13 times and worked for three different presidents. I witnessed my three daughters graduate from college. 
my youngest Natalia, this year. I went all the way to the Supreme Court to defend the U.S. Census, the DACA program for DREAMers, and the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare. We won on the census, and we're waiting for the court's decision for the DREAMers and Obamacare. I've watched the Super Bowl in the White House, and after 32 years of marriage, Carolina hasn't asked for her money back. For a kid who couldn't make the basketball team, I learned to fall forward. I can hear my father, Manuel, who died on New Year's Day, saying, No lo hagas tan complicado con tu fall forward. No más diles de ganas. Don't make it so complicated. Just tell them about ganas. In my home, ganas means guts, grit, and game wrapped together. My parents had it. In these times, we need it. Ganas, falling forward, fighting for what you believe. I want to close by explaining that first fall I just mentioned, losing my first legal case. I tried my best. It meant the world to me to help my clients, immigrants, a construction and clerical worker. They had complete faith in me. They had been ripped off of what for them was a lot of money. I fell hard, but they were so understanding. With less money in their pocket, but still full of faith, they said, Mijito, no te preocupes. Hicimos la lucha. Es lo que cuenta. My son, don't worry. We tried. That's what counts. I was in college at the time. I was the closest thing to an attorney that my parents knew. But close, as they say, doesn't win. That was 40 years ago. Today, I run the largest law firm in California. We've beaten Valero, Johnson & Johnson, Wells Fargo, British Petroleum, in court. We've taken on Facebook, Juul, Uber, Dish. We've sued the President of the United States 80 times to defend California, our people, our values, and our resources. And we're winning. I learned to fight, to win. And in the process, the promise of America became clear to me. When you're five feet eight, you can't expect to dunk a basketball. When you haven't even started law school, you can't expect to win legal cases for your clients, no matter how much you love them. But in America, you can try. And in America, when you try, magical things happen. Just ask your proud parents. Ask five foot seven Spud Webb of the 1986 Atlanta Hawks. So prepare to step into the ring. Don't be afraid to fall. Do it with ganas. America is yearning to give you a chance to punch above your assigned weight class. Just ask my mom. If someone ever tries to rip her off again, this time she knows an attorney general ready to step into that ring. Class of 2020, your time has arrived. Congratulations. Go make us proud. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that special message. I am now pleased to introduce our student speaker, Christopher Ingle, who has majored in both English and Global Arts Studies. Welcome, friends, family, faculty, and of course, our graduates. In these current times, we would prefer to be with you all together live. But that shouldn't change the fact that today, we celebrate the accomplishments of every graduate here at UC Merced. This is the culmination of years of hard work and dedication. As we celebrate this step on the path of life, I'm reminded of T.S. Eliot who said, the journey, not the destination matters. Each of us has a story to tell about our journey to where we are today. I'd like to share with you my journey. I'm not the typical undergraduate here at UC Merced. I'm 36 years old. I've been married for 12 years. We have two children and I'm also autistic. I began my educational journey in 2003, just a few miles down the road at Merced College. In total, it has been 17 years since I began my quest for educational enlightenment. I didn't learn I was autistic until I was in my late 20s. Taking classes has always been difficult. Every assignment, every essay, every time I stepped into a classroom, it felt like an unclimbable mountain was in front of me and I would run away. During this time, I started doing community theater. There I met two fellow actors, Jenny Samuelson and Katie Brokaw. 
also instructors here at the university. We got to know each other through the course of our shows, and they wanted to know what my plans were. I had plans to push my way through junior college and to go to a state school, as I didn't feel I was worthy of a UC school. But they told me to have more faith in myself. I did not give up. If I applied myself, I could do anything, including graduating from a school like UC Merced. They gave me the oomph I needed to fight my diagnosis and to climb that unclimbable mountain. I took that push as a sign, and with my family's support, I sought counseling and refocused my academic efforts. I took each day one step at a time and built a support system. With a newfound determination, I went from a struggling junior college student on academic probation to clearing a 3.6 GPA and now graduating from what I consider the greatest university in the world. Today, I stand on top of my unconquerable mountain and it feels amazing. But there will be greater mountains for each of us to conquer as we leave this place today. No mountain will be the same as the next. Each of you will be climbing your own mountains and everyone here is standing right beside you ready to keep you from falling and to help you make it to the top. The students here at UC Merced have become family. I'm proud to stand here today representing the success we all have achieved. I thank you for helping me up my mountain. With all due respect to T.S. Eliot, the journey may be important, but I feel who we travel with is even more crucial. Our family, friends and faculty are a part of this Bobcat family too. I don't stand here ready to graduate because I've achieved something great. In solidarity, graduates, faculty, staff, family and friends, we have achieved something great. We did it together. Congratulations, class of 2020. Let the climb begin. Graduates, we have come to the moment you and your loved ones have been waiting for, the conferral of your degrees. The degrees conferred by the University of California attest to scholastic achievement and to each student's embodiment of our threefold mission of teaching, research, and public service. And the fine print, degrees will be officially awarded following certification by the Office of the Registrar that students have satisfied all requirements. I welcome Interim Chancellor Brostrom and Vice Provost and Graduate Dean Marjorie Zatz for the conferral of advanced degrees. Interim Chancellor Brostrom, I am honored to present the candidates who qualified in all respects for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Regents of the University of California, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. Congratulations. As they join the ranks of the most highly educated women and men in the world, steeped in the University of California traditions of research, teaching, and public service, we would like to take this time to present to you all of our doctoral degree recipients.
congratulations to our newest doctors of philosophy. We will now confer the master's degrees. Interim Chancellor Brostrom, I am honored to present the candidates for the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Management, and Master of Science. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Regents of the University of California, I confer upon you the degree Master of Arts, Management, or Science, with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. Congratulations. Interim Chancellor Brostrom, I'm honored to present the baccalaureate degree candidates from the School of Engineering. I am honored to present the baccalaureate degree candidates from the School of Natural Sciences. And I am honored to present the baccalaureate candidates from the School of Social Sciences, Humanities, and Arts. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Regents of the University of California, I confer upon you your baccalaureate degree. Congratulations. This concludes a presentation of baccalaureate degree recipients from the School of Engineering, the School of Natural Sciences, and the School of Social Sciences, Humanities, and Arts. Please join us in congratulating our newest baccalaureate degree recipients. Congratulations, graduates, and thank you to everyone for joining us to mark this momentous occasion. We hope your hard-earned knowledge and fond memories of UC Merced guide you as you embark on wherever your next journey leads. While you may have had to leave campus sooner than you anticipated, remember, you will always have a home at UC Merced. We are working hard toward the day when we can come together for our in-person commencement ceremony and celebrate all of your accomplishments together. Until then, from all of us to you, congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates of the class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. The physics department is so proud of all of you. We made it through this crazy semester. We are ready for whatever obstacles come at you next. Good luck. Congratulations, graduates, on this really memorable day. If you could do this, you could do anything. We're all very proud of you. Woohoo! You did it! Congratulations, class of 2020. Class of 2020, felicidades. You did it. You did it. Go class of 2020. The Students First Center loves you and we will miss you. Stay in touch. Good luck in what goes next and come back to see us. You did it 2020. Congrats to the class of 2020. Go Bobcat. We're so proud of you. Zoe is really proud of you. So keep in touch. Go off. Do great things. Congratulations, Congratulations class of 2020. 2020. Congratulations. You're the future. We're so proud of you from Life and Environmental Sciences. Go Bobcats! Good luck on your next adventure. Hats off to you. Class of 2020, we're so proud of you. We love you and we support you. You all are amazing. Go Class of 2020. Great job. Congratulations, Bobcats. Congratulations, engineers. Hope you guys have a great summer. Congratulations, Class of 2020. So thank you. And congratulations on that bright future that that UC Merced degree will bring you, knowing that you have contributed to building the future in the heart of California. We are so proud of you and all of your accomplishments. Congratulations, class of 2020. You're smart, you're strong. Get out there and save the world.
da 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 da